I'm Newland Moss and I'm from the Lunar Orbiter Image Recovery Project. Uh, I started here as a student after high school and I've been here for almost three years, uh, so it's been a while. Um, I go to Foothill College and I'm studying physics. Hi, Newland. Uh, tell us uh, what you do here at uh, the Lunar Orbiter Project. Okay, so what I do is um, we have all these tapes, you can see. Kind of, right? <laughs> uh, we have all these tapes, and what I do is um, digitize them, and we put them together in Photoshop. When we started, I had to put it together in Photoshop by hand, but now we have a fancy program to do it for me. Um, and then we take those images and take the images from LROC that is now orbiting the moon, um, and overlay the old images that we have in all these tapes and we're trying to find new craters or boulders moving or anything that's changed on the moon's surface. And that's what you did for your project here with this poster that we're looking at? Yeah, so this poster um, is from a conference that I went to about like a year and a half ago and um, I wrote an abstract for it and this is what it is. So like, you can see the two images here, the ones that I just talked about, is um, the Lunar Orbiter mission and the LROC. So they're of the same region, they're the same sunlight, um, same resolution, which is high resolution, and so we have each one of these, and I don't think you can see it with the camera, but it has little tiny squares, and those little tiny squares are blown up here. Um, so the resolution is about 10 meters, one, one meter, one meter resolution, sorry. And um, so what we did was we compared them, we overlaid them in, a, you can see that they're kind of slightly off kilter. And so they're perfectly aligned with all the other craters. And what happens when we, we would scan the entire region really slowly to make sure that um, to see if anything has changed. Uh, we haven't found anything, but the last part of this is saying that we've only covered about 500 square kilometers and the moon's like 3 million square kilometers, right? 38 million. <laughs> 38 million, uh, close. But, so we have barely scanned any of it um, yet, but we have a lot more images. So. Newton, what do you think about working in a McDonald's? <laughs> I think it's really cool, actually. Every time I um, tell people, I say I work at McMoon's, or I work at McDonald's, and then they say, what? Like, really? Oh, cool. And I'm like, no, I work for NASA and actually in a McDonald's. And it's, at first, it's kind of interesting, but then you just really fall in love with it. <laughs> okay. And so what are you doing for your degree? I'm doing physics right now, and I'm just starting uh, the whole physics calculus series, and I'm really enjoying it, and I really like it. All right. Thank you very much, Newland.